Okay, so we're going to talk about um, co-editing a document, co-collaboration on a document with a team member, and just show you really quick how we can edit documents together in Teams. So I'm talking to Ben here. He's already said, hi, how you doing? Hi, Ben. And I'm just going to chat with him and say, I'm going to open doc so we can collaborate. And then I'll go ahead and attach a document that I want to collaborate on. So I can either, in this case, choose a document that's already in Teams, or in this case, I'm just going to upload one from my computer. And I'm going to say Ben and Scott, and we're going to open that up. And so remember, I've enabled tracking on this document. And so now Ben has this document as part of the conversation. And then I can go ahead and click on it. Hopefully he does too. And it seems to be taking a minute to upload. Oh, I need to send it. So I need to send that reply. And so I've sent that. And now he has the document in front of him that we're going to collaborate on. And it's already uploaded because I've attached it. Um, great, Ben, thanks. Uh, I've already attached it. It's already in the files library. Um, keep in mind, you don't want to copy and paste documents or things into um, the Teams conversation because it won't save it. But if you attach things like I just did with the little paperclip, um, then it actually saves it in the files library. And you can see the conversation we're having now shows up in this conversation. So we can talk and say, OK, I'm in the doc. Start engines. And so I'm going to go ahead and click Edit. So Ben has already made a um, Ben has already made an edit to this document before I even got here. So that, but it shows that over here he's now editing the document like me. And it shows his name and where he's typing. And you can see Ben's typing here too. And this is pretty cool. We tested this with about 10 people in the room, and it works really well. Um, you see a different color for every user, and you can see what people are doing. Of course, with 10 people, it gets to be chaotic. You've got flags and people all over the place. And you can actually see in real time as the person types. So it's really nice. And remember, too, I've got tracking turned on. So if things get too crazy, I can always go back and remove things, um, change uh, anything anybody's written. And uh, it's just really great. And then in addition to that, you know, you get a notification. And you can say, I can go where that person's editing. And so if this document were much longer, it would sort of say, OK, let's look at what Joe's doing, or let's look at what Ben's doing, you know, if the document was long and there was a lot going on to keep track of. And then you have an additional chat over here. Um, but I don't really see the point of that, because you already have conversations turned on. So I would avoid using this chat window at all. Uh, you don't really need it. Um, that's what the conversations part is for. Um, I guess the one thing is that the conversations will show up, and um, they will show up over here, and they'll also show up on your conversations board. So if I go back to where we're having conversations in Teams, and I leave this document for a minute, the conversations that we're having will actually end up showing he up here. You can see five replies, and there's all the conversations. The chat, I suppose, is good 
if you want to chat and not have that conversation saved. So it looks a little clunky. I don't know if I would use it. Um, I can always go back and delete this stuff later if it's not helpful. But I guess if you wanted to keep a chat going outside of your conversations window, that's going to end up on your conversations board. And I'll just let them know I think we're good. For your help. And that's pretty much it. So, yeah, there we go. Co-editing a document. Um, again, try it out. It's pretty smooth. It's pretty fast. And we're all good. And then he's going to say, always oh, glad to get out. Questions on monetary okay policy something all right thanks ben and thanks everyone and uh, i hope you got something out of this and the next module i'm going to cover advanced document management in sharepoint um, so stay tuned for that and we'll use this document as an example in that cool